beauty. Good stuff. Oh, I think that is going to be strong enough, rigid enough. That's really nice too, because with just one layer of fiberglass on the biggest parts, it's going to be nice and lightweight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to be good. All right, I need to flip this around and put one of these at the other end, because this is the first piece. And then the other ones, I can just build off that. Just make ones of these that attach to it. Yeah, that'll make sense eventually. All right, so I need to cut this one meter wide. Oh man, my legs are a little bit wobbly today because I pedal boated to town and back yesterday. Actually for an unusual reason uh, that I'll get to in another video. The connection between this piece and the piece here, that's going to be the most obvious point of failure for this entire thing. So I'm going to scratch this up really good so some fibers are showing. Because at the other end, like this, the original fiberglass just goes right up the piece, but this piece is going to be two separate chunks. So. Crazy how strong this is. Those lights. Put an extra bit of wax on the wood there. Alright. Alright, I got all my pieces ready. I just need to go mix up some resin and stick all those here. Yeah, just like that. Lickety split. It looks like a big giant scooper. Okay, while that thing's drying, maybe I can start on the mast. I did bring the pieces today. This is going to be a double nested mast. Ignore these two small pipes. So this piece once it's wrapped with fiberglass and some stuff done to it, it's going to attach to the boat and it'll be able to go like this. And this piece will be connected to the sails. So that whole thing will be able to slide onto the mast that's on the boat. And then the whole thing will be able to swivel. Now the reason I'm having a whole piece attached to this is because there's nothing else to keep this from twisting. So that should do it, I think. I'll wrap it with fiberglass so it's nice and strong. All right, I should be able to get the fiberglass on there and flip it around and do the other half. I need this to be straight. Luckily, it looks like this pipe is pretty straight. Yeah, that should be good enough. Oh, beauty. Good. Looking good. Yeah, it's about half the pole. All right. Let's check on this thing. I think I need to give it some more time to let that side get harder. If you move the stuff before it really hardens, it'll stay in whatever shape you move it in. So, I'll just leave it there for a bit. Oh crap, I hear rain. Oh, which way are the clouds going? I think I might be all right. It looks like it's going that way. And I've got blue skies over here. If everything keeps going that way, 
Yeah, it's raining all way back there, I can see. But over here, we got blue. Okay, I think I'm all right. I'm not gonna pull out any major fiberglass thing for another 10 or 15 minutes. Hmm. Ah, sweet, this is going pretty well. Oh, there's the other half of my mast. Ah, I think that's about all the fiberglass I can handle for one day. Ooh, maybe I still have some time to do some digging. Well, also these are gonna take a while to harden, so I'm gonna go do something else. I decided I needed to do something with some cut up pieces of PVC that I cut up this morning. So when I was moving this piece, this flexes more easily than I want it to. So I'm going to put some of these here, fiberglass them in, and that should make it stiff enough. And hopefully not interfere with the uh, wind movement too much. You know, I tried to get fairly low profile. Still, I'd rather mess up my airflow a little bit and not wreck the solar panels that will potentially be glued on the other side of this. Hopefully that's rigid enough. While that's curing, I have something else to do. So on my pedal boat here, sometimes I end up with a space here that splashes out and gets the person here's legs wet. So I'm gonna put little clips on here that'll go over this and hold it shut. The side I sit on, Mm, it doesn't usually open up, so I haven't done it yet. But out of consideration to the other person, I'm going to do it. I think that should do a good job. curve in that and then that's going to come down like that so if I bend that out a little bit that should be good Oh, excellent. Any luck that'll be ready now? My stainless pliers have been doing excellent work. Oh, excellent. All right, got the other one on. Well, maybe it's easier to understand me like this. I need this side over there. Yeah. That one's thick, and this one's thin, so it'll get another layer put on. Wow, that is so much more rigid now.
Okay, I have all my fiberglass pieces for that attached there. The side pieces here. And then the end things. Alright, and I've got my internal mast. I did half of it earlier. So I have the rest ready. Okay. I think I've got everything lined up as good as I'm going to get it. I better fiberglass that pole in quick. The ends are going to be easy. I'm just going to have to reach to get those parts. And then once it's all together, I can stand it up and then do these parts really good. I'll just have to get enough fiberglass in there now to hold it in place long enough to move it. Okay, I have like some fiberglass tabs in there. I mean, pretty big size tabs. Enough to hold its shape. I don't want to be super rough with it yet. I'm going to have to put a lot more fiberglass around everything because this is going to have a lot of force on it. First, though, I need, just need to let that cure into the right shape. Also, my daughter just walkie talkied me and said, Hey, Jamie, there's pizza, so I better go get some pizza. Yeah, the sun's almost down. I'm out of here.